Hi, my name is Jana Raktam. Together with co-faculty Joyce Johan and Matthew Thompson, we're offering an option studio in architectural design. And we're looking to explore forms of urban architecture at Great Northern Way campus here in Vancouver. We also acknowledge that we are on the traditional ancestral and unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh nations. We thought it might be good to say a few words about how we define and position this semester's project in relation to design discourse and practice. So what do we mean by collective form? In the post-war context of growth and reconstruction, architects speculated on how built form should inform urban development. Megastructures, map buildings, historicist approaches were some of the claims of architectural agency on the city, among others. They were discussed and disseminated vibrantly via different medias of discourse, such as SIAM, Team 10, uh, Kenzo Tangia Lab, and the Metabolist Circles in, in, in Tokyo, uh, the Congress for New Urbanism, among other numerous organizations, gatherings, and publications. In this context, Japanese architect uh, Fumi Komaki proposed thinking about these different forms of urban architecture as different paradigms about how buildings, or uh, architectural parts, if you will, how they come together to yield a whole uh, greater than the sum of uh, uh, some of the constituent parts, or uh, a collective form. And he was a proponent of a particular group form approach as a critique of other paradigms of collective form. So this type of collective form is about pursuing urban wholes of carefully designed parts that are contextual, that are of human scale, and that are open to being shaped over time, perhaps in phases or incremental development. Together, they share certain architectural qualities and enable a vibrant public realm that unifies them. But the world has changed over the past 50 years since the paradigms of collective form were first uh, discussed. While the challenges of urban growth and reconstruction remain, we're facing new ones that require urgent and contextual responses, such as the climate emergency and the housing affordability crisis. Collective form remains a wide open area for design research, when steps towards decarbonization, equity, and decolonization need to be bolder, uh, and at a time when density needs to land without missing the mark on livability, or at places where infrastructure should connect rather than separate, and the space between buildings need to enable social interaction as well as environmental resilience and regeneration. We will explore what forms mixed-use housing and innovation programs may take in order to respond to these challenges, um, and we'll do that on and around the Great Northern Way campus. The design responses will aim to make the campus into a complete community that supports the post-industrial transformation of the area into a sustainable, just, and resilient place. So the Great Northern Way campus in False Creek Flats, or Squatches, uh, I'm hoping uh, that I'm pronouncing this correctly, meaning hole in the bottom in the Coast Salish language, um, were once an intertidal area reclaimed from the ocean. So following that, it was home to industrial uses for most of the 20th century. In the early 2000s, the land was donated to the Great Northern Way Trust, with UBC, SFU, Emily Carr University, and BCIT as its current shareholders. Since then, planning and development on and around the campus has been evolving with completed and ongoing planning efforts. And the construction of the SkyTrain Millennium Line extension, of course. Post-industrial transformation of the area is well underway with many development projects and some of them are uh, uh, particularly prominent in the development media, which you may have seen. For this studio, the programs we're primarily interested in landing are academic communal uses, academic or tech office space, and student housing. Other programs may be proposed by the studio participants uh, as well. So this is the current outlines uh, of the Great Northern Way campus. The existing development is uh, the Emily Carr University campus at the center, um, offices along Great Northern Way, um, 
a recently built mixed-use academic building for the Center for Digital Media, and an older facility running from the time uh, when uh, the campus was uh, used for industry. It is also serving as a Center for Digital Media space. Most of the on-campus development sites we will explore are currently vacant or are being used for construction staging for the Broadway subway extension. The older facility housing part of the CDM is, um, uh, is up for redevelopment or um, uh, some form of adaptive reuse. Also up for exploration are two interface sites, the 500 block of East 5th Street and the BNSF rail yard to the north both offering opportunity to negotiate campus city interface with buildings and public realm. In any case, most development sites will need to respond to an interface or boundary condition where buildings and the public realm meet. Uh, infrastructure, that is perhaps uh, the SkyTrain guideway and station, uh, or they meet the industrial landscape, that is the rail yard to the north, or the neighborhood residential fabric. So um, design school, we think, uh, is a place to gain exposure to various design paradigms and experiment with them. This goes hand in hand with the studio pedagogy, um, and we thought we might want to say a few things about it here. The double analogy between a city and a house has been around for a long time, at least since the times of uh, Leon Battista Alberti and has been echoed by folks with very different approaches to buildings and cities. Nevertheless, it may be argued that uh, it is somewhat a tenet of uh, urban architecture or architectural urbanism uh, from a built form point of view, and that is very much uh, the focus of the studio. That being said, the space between buildings also matters immensely. Um, this is where public life uh, takes place. This is where many ecosystem uh, services uh, are provided by, um, by our envir environment. So in this architectural design studio, we will capture the public realm and living systems considerations and the campus frameworks through a detailed design of uh, the building public realm interface. So building on these positions, uh, the studio is structured in three consecutive segments, resulting in one project uh, that is studied at different scales, that is the campus or neighborhood scale, and for the most part, uh, the building scale, um, and in a process that is enriched by cross-disciplinary sensibilities between architecture and landscape architecture. So in the first segment, as a large team, uh, students will first analyze the campus as a whole and develop built form and public realm and living systems frameworks for it. In the second segment, uh, now in small teams, each focusing on a development site, they will approach uh, each site inside out, starting with um, a key housing component and a key um, communal space and see um, how they arrive at, um, arrive at built form but now starting um, inside out. And then in the final segment, the small teams will consolidate their studies uh, in, the, in the first segment and in the second segment, um, validate an architectural concept and um, advance the development of the building public realm interface and uh, will also address the public realm immediately around uh, the buildings they are proposing. Regarding what to expect, here's a glimpse into the studios, uh, which uh, Joyce Drowin and I co-taught at UBC before. In this case, we looked at how industrial mixed use can help transform a brownfield site in False Creek Flats in Vancouver, not far from this semester's site. We asked a group of upper year students from the Master of Architecture and Master of Landscape Architecture programs to study the problem intensely. So they responded to this condition with an amazing diversity of approaches, say in this case, uh, an iconic object building, field conditions, a compact built form surrounded by a porous and restorative public realm, or a modular building system 
with moments of exploration and wonder. It is important to us that the participants in the studio bring their interests into the work uh, that is produced. This urban design studio, uh, it's different from uh, what we're doing this semester uh, for the MARC option studio, but uh, it was with students from a variety of backgrounds. Uh, we looked at Falls Creek South, a unique neighborhood in Vancouver, um, where uh, its legacy of sustainability is facing new challenges from our housing crisis and the climate emergency. In this studio, we developed frameworks and fleshed them out into meaningful city form. It was an objective of the studio for the built form framework to learn from uh, the strengths of the existing uh, built fabric in the area and um, carry that over to possible future uh, development in, the, uh, in, the, in this part of town. And the students also got to share their work at a special presentation uh, to the City Council of Vancouver. Scale-wise, what we're doing this semester is more building focused, but similar to this previous studio, we're definitely interested in connecting with a variety of stakeholders and guests, including campus planning at Great Northern Way, uh, design firms such as Diamond Schmidt, uh, who have been involved in the development of the campus, as well as uh, the City of Vancouver stakeholders, in order to enrich the design discourse in the studio. Before we part, a quick note on who we are. We are a trio of co-instructors. We worked previously with one another in professional practice uh, and or academia, and we look forward to working with the studio's participants this term. Joyce Johan is an architect and urbanist whose focus is sustainable communities. A lead member of master planning teams for Southeast False Creek and East Fraser Lands, she helped to forge Vancouver's reputation for a good city building. Consistent to all her projects is balancing viability, amenity, and growth with livability. And this is me. Uh, my name is uh, John Arokta. I'm a practicing designer, uh, and I contribute mainly to housing and public building projects, approaching them from both building and neighborhood or campus scales. I also happen to be a UBC alum, a Master of Architecture class of 2012. Uh, after post-professional studies at MIT, I returned to Vancouver and have been practicing uh, ever since. And um, on occasion, I've been contributing to teaching and discourse here at the school uh, as an adjunct professor, thesis committee member, and uh, a guest critic. Hello, my name is Matthew Thompson, Matthew Thompson Design. I've been practicing landscape architecture and urban design for over 20 years in Vancouver. Initially as a principal at PFS Studio and more recently an associate at Dialogue. A little over three years ago, I, I started my own practice. I think uh, common to all the projects that I've worked on or continue to work on is the ambition to implement inclusive and responsive system-based design processes towards creating and, and even sometimes curating people-centered places that can help foster social capacity building, but are also based in a restorative um, process or strategy that, that can help improve and, and heal the ecological systems or, or within the fabric of the site. So um, I'm really excited at the prospect to co-facilitate this class with Joyce and Genev. I had the privilege of working with them both over the years. And I think it'll be really fun and I look forward to meeting some of you in, in a short while. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Joyce Drawn, and I'd like to invite you to be part of exploring through student, through the design of student housing, the changing relationship between student and campus and city in the 21st century. Not only will this studio look at innovative architectural approaches to this typology, but equally important, how it can shape the campus and the surrounding urban environment to begin to address some of our most pressing social, environmental, and economic issues. I do hope you can join us. I would like to join my fellow co-instructors in inviting you to come join us this term for this opportunity to engage the urban condition critically with architecture on campus. 
and we're wishing you all a great fall semester.